Hi, welcome. This is another Band Lab for Education video. Um, this one uh, was based on some questions I've been getting about how do you download um, the music that you've been creating. Um, this is great to be able to download either the separate tracks or your song as a mix down um, that you might want to be able to use or share out with to different people. So um, let's go check this one out. Okay, so here we are over in the mix editor. editor. Um, I've got a, oh, a backing track that I was working on um, for a song called Mad World. Um, so I've got some um, tracks for vocals, I've got some MIDI tracks here, um, I've got a guitar audio track, um, and some more MIDI tracks here that I've been labeling down the side here. And so this is just an example. So you might want to be able to download um, all of these separate tracks. You might want to take something into another um, door program. Um, there you might be doing some recording offline rather than using the BandLab website. So to be able to download these things, there's two options. We can download the separate files or the mix down. So let's have a look at these two options. So up here under file, we've got download and we've got these two options. So let's go with tracks and see how this works. Okay, just waiting for this to load. Okay, here you can see all the different colored tracks that I had. I had um, a few vocal tracks, the piano solo part from Mad World, um, a chord track, and those things that I've labeled down here. And over here, I've got the download option. So let's download a few of these. So the piano solo was a MIDI track. Um, the guitar was an audio track. So let's download those two. Okay, so here you can see I've got these two download files um, and they're a .m4a file. There's no opportunity to pick any other file types. Um, I've raised this as a, a feature request. Hopefully they'll um, take this on board so that you'll be able to download either the MIDI tracks or this is an MP3 or WAV file. Um, but these .m4a files can be played in most programs, VLC plays that most audio programs will be able to play these pro these things. Um, although when I tried to import it into one of the doors that I use for recording, um, I needed to tr uh, cha change it into a MP3 or WAV file. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Um, let's hope that they upgrade this at some point. So that's downloading um, the stem files, so the separate stem files that you might want to be able to use. So let's go back a step and look at the other option. So the other option was the mix down option. Here we do have a few options. Let's click on this one. Here you've got the option to download it in a few different ways. We've got medium quality and take notice of um, the so size of the file that these might end up being in the um, kilobytes. Okay, um, the highest quality, WAV files and high different WAV files. So these will have a different size um, file. So if you're wanting to be able to share it very quickly um, in an email, um, you might want to have a, a small file type just for as a sample. Um, if you're wanting to play it through a nice quality sound system, you might want to go for the slightly higher quality. Okay, for the purpose of this and being nice and quick, I'm going to go with the medium quality just to download it. So I've I can select these, hit download, and then it's taking all of my tracks um, combining them all into one audio file. There we go, and that's done. And now I've got the MP3 there. Just waiting for the website to catch up. So that um, has been downloaded and that's in my download file. Okay, so really, really simple process in being able to download um, your either your stem tracks or your a mix down of your arrangement. Um, hopefully it's been helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you found this a useful, helpful tip. Um, and I'm keen to know about any other ideas you might have for other future videos. So thanks for listening.